five, four, three, two, one. Hey, yo, it was your boy Becky from the video. My second and we would be on the channel. So I'm I doing a triple bowl today. So I don't know when this video is gonna be out, and I'm guessing B Star Surge is most likely out before this video. And then Affinity Training video is definitely out before this. But I have some stuff to talk about in this video after I'm doing the analysis. Alright, let's get into it. Promise Neverland season two starts off. The kids running from a monster and they run into a new force. Also, Ray feels responsible after not cooperating in the first place for what happened to Emma's arm and burnt ear. I, now, I don't remember the burnt ear. They find a cold owl that translates to touch me and they saw the same thing in the house library. They had the same owl. The kids also miss Norman. I'm going to talk about Norman later. You also find a plant called seed almonds. Sea almonds that are drinkable so you don't have to go to the river and you put it in a jar, which I think that's very convenient. Now, I'm wondering if there's any more in the forest. So they go out to find more allies and whoever Mr. Minerva is. I don't even know. I don't know who that is. While Gilda leads the slower kids. Ray decides to go distract the monster, but however, the monster's cornered him. And Emma joins up with Gilda before that. Emma passes out. Of course. And also, they're not just one monster. There's a group of monsters hunting after them. It turns out Ray has the highest grade. Ray, Emma, and the rest of the kids get rescued by a mysterious hooded figure on a horse. And they both wake up in this someplace with the demons. Alright, this is the part I'm about to talk about, right? Hear me out. Norman isn't dead. If this, this picture is telling me, no one's clearly not dead. There's some type of demon civil war out there. There's some type of demon civil war. I don't really remember the manga. There's definitely a demon civil war. And that's why they say them because those are the good demons and there's bad demons. And mom probably has Norman and probably try to recruit them to some type of resistance. And I'm guessing mom either had a redemption arc or she never really worked with the demons in general. She just wanted to get their trust and that's why she killed off the humans. She killed off the girl in the beginning of the series. Because this show does not pull any punches. They really went after the kid Ray and Ray like right away and tried to kill him. But Chris, this demon, I really like her design. Save them. So anyway, that's my adults. And I'm guessing, yeah, I'm doing a Yuri Kimbio tomorrow, so. Bye.